Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 8 of Exoria, a mod pack by DaftQuest. So, I'm a bit sick, don't know how my voice sounds, but I really really want to record. I'm having a lot of fun with this mod pack and I just want to move it forward. But I'm feeling that I'm getting to a point where I'm stuck a little bit. And what I mean by that is, I have a lot of things going on and I have some automation but not enough automation. Like if you look at this, I have strainer in all of these. And if you look at my chest, it's going to overflow pretty soon. Same with that one. And I need to start processing the resource, which means I need some automation in my life. I need auto crafting and stuff like that. And if I look at the resource automation, here we have basic auto crafting. These things are really slow, but it th there isn't really any other choices right now. I have to go this direction. The other thing I want to do is I want to get sieving because sieving is going to bring us other resources that are going to open up the pack a little bit. So what I'm thinking of doing is I really like the work that I've been doing on the base, but I don't like the fact that I had two very long episodes. So I want to go back to the idea of making a long time lapse uh, episode. So I'm not quite 100% sure how I want to do it yet, but there is an idea in there of potentially um, recording uh, the time lapse while doing a long two hour time lapse. Well, I say two hour, but you have to remember that I multiply it by, uh, I make the speed times four, so it's kind of the equivalent of a quarter of that time, half an hour. So maybe even a three hour time lapse, but I was thinking of doing it in the sense of going on Twitch, even though I know probably not a lot of people are going to tune in, but just doing the time lapse in there and recording it so that I can then turn out an episode full time lapse. So that's what I'm going to try to do this weekend. And I'm going to announce on YouTube with a quick five second video where I say when I'm going to do it. But I wanted to do this episode to get some things out of the way. And that's sieving. So let's craft some sieves. And the sieve in this, uh, in this game is made with sticks, plank, and the slab, so I want to make nine. I'm going to need nine slab. I'm going to need 18 stick. Don't have enough stick here. Let me just check what's my wood status right now. I'm going to grab all of that. What's in here? Oh, I have some slab in here, so that's a good thing. Uh, what else? Nope. I, I have so many chests all over the place that that's also not helping to me finding my stuff when I want to do things. And let's go see if I have some sticks here. Oh, I do have some sticks here. The other thing I want to make sure is I want to make sure that this is producing iron all the time because we're going to need a lot of iron for sieving because one of the sieve that we're going to work with is going to be an iron mesh. And iron mesh means a lot of iron. You have no idea the crazy amount of iron we're going to need. So let's put this in here. Um, Oh, I have tin in here. You know what? Let's make all of that tin into um, in two gears. Woo! That, that was hard. Ooh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Derp. Oh, it, there's no heat, so I'm good. Whoo! That, that might have been a bad one. So I know already that I'm going to need some lead. So I want to make a little bit of lead plates and lead... I don't know that I need lead gear, but I want to make some lead. So let me just put all of this in here and let's put some charcoal in here. This is going to turn into tin gear and whatever left I'm going to make into um, ingots. So let's just put that in here to make some ingots. And let's take a quick look at my, that. I have to cast that in here. So one of the other things I want to do is I want to set those to auto pump. And there's a multiple way of doing auto pumping. The easiest way would be with a redstone timer kind of deal or with a build craft pipe with liquid, which is something I was working on. So those are the two tin ingot. And now here's a th trick. When there's metal left in here and you don't have a can to remove it, well, you can just always break it and lose all of the content. There wasn't really much in there, so I don't mind losing the content. But in all fairness, that's not something you would usually want to go with. So let me just grab the plate mold and I'm going to get started on a couple of lead plate. And in here, let's start making, I also want to make iron plate, but that can come, in, come on later. 
Now it's going to make a couple of plate and huh, I'm just going to check how much uh, metal I need to complete the plate, uh, everything into plates and then we're going to uh, put some iron here and move on. Perfect, so that's 14, 16, like this is the, oh, oy, this is the ridiculous amount of liquid I was not expecting to be left with 16. So that's going to be 16, 32, another 32, that's 64, another 60, that's 128, and that should be 144. So unless my math is really, really wrong, this should take care of everything. Let's just check quickly. Pour that in here and give me 144 and one plate and that's perfect yes so now we can put some iron here and be good with this so let's just refill this with iron and then we're going to go continue with our sieving i'm going to grab the plate because i have a lot of iron in here so i can start making plate in here uh yeah i want everything in plate because that's what i'm going to need for the sieve and all of these are finished you know what i'm not going to replace them because like I said, I don't want this to overflow because it would be a nightmare to clean. So I'm going to do this at a later time. Just push everything that I can here. Uh, wow, I made three piles instead. And now let's just go and make our sieves. So we're going to make our first sieves. And I want to make nine because there's multi-block structure that's really cool for that. So six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and sticks, I'm okay, so I should be good to craft my 9 sieves, 9, not 10, perfect, so that's the sieve, and now we need the mesh, and the, no, the fiber mesh, let's be careful, they're not the same that we've been making since the beginning, so the fiber mesh are with plant fiber, and do I have a ton of plant fiber here, nope, but I have a field here that I can harvest that's going to give me a ton, so let's just take care of that quickly, Ah, they're so hard to break. Like, I don't like the fact that I can miss aim, and if you miss aim, you break a block in the back. I wish there was a way to harvest all of those resources way easier. Um, I'm thinking of looking into, I think it's Botania. Let's just look at Orn. I think that the Orn of, no, that's for, Orn of the Covering is for uh, Snow. Orn of the Canopy is for trees. I think it's Orn of the Wild. How do I craft that? So I think that's something I should be able to do fairly soon. And I'm thinking of doing it because I wonder if it works with my garden. Well, I wonder if it works with Rush more exactly. I should be precise. Because if it works with Rush, then I would move my whole Rush thing somewhere further away. And then I can just come with the Orn of the Canopy. And you know what? It's really worth testing. So in the time-lapse, in the big time-lapse episode that I want to do over Twitch, that's something I'm going to go and test. And if that works, then huh, I'm going to have found a great tip and tricks to simplify everything. Let's just grab everything while we're here. By the way, I also planted some rice because I wanted to make the sealant. And I did that kind of in time because now I have a tip. I have a couple of tip and tricks that I'm really excited to tell you about. I'm going to finish these sieves and then we're going to get into some really nice tips and tricks. It's been a while since I, since I got some, a lot of tips and tricks. And this guy just nailed it over the head with hammer and came with a ton of amazing tips. So let's get all of the mesh that I need. Doesn't work with the blooming rush tip. It works with the rush tip. So let's do all of that, and we're going to get rid of the blooming, and oh, I I broke the, I'm going to have to make another knife. So let's come right here, and let's go back to fiber mesh. And the way this works, the fiber mesh are going to be used for the next levels. So I want to craft nine, it's not going to be a lost. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine perfect now let's put the rest in here and that's one quest done and that quest was only for one of each so i wonder if saving the ash of this planet would give me access to some new resources for now a basic fiber mesh would be enough to test rain would mess up the sieving but the structure doesn't need to be something fancy something made out of wood would be f sufficient so we need 64 ash block the sieves and then we need to get one of each of those resources now the wood 
it's the first time in this pack that I got stuck myself. Because usually they explain to you exactly what you need. Like you need Waddle and Dob, or you need Cob, or you need Concrete, or you need this or that. But now it says Wood. So I was looking at the Wood option. And what I tried is I made one out of wood, which works. But this is kind of expensive. I get four per wood. But there's something called else called oak wood shakes and you basically use oak wood with a flint and you get six of those so that was very interesting and that's what i want to do so if you come like this you take some wood you take some flint and it destroys you it doesn't destroy your flint and now i have way too well okay so now i have a crazy amount i thought it took the flint away so now i kind of screwed up but anyway doesn't matter we can now make the setup and i'm going to put it in this place right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for the roof because this is what i figured it's you never put anything touching the roof so if you put it as the roof then you're maximizing the number of block and you're not risking covering any so let's just do the whole roof right here like so and replace all of that with wood shakes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, ten. That's going to be fifteen. That's going to be twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty, forty-five. And now I want to make a wall right here because everything needs to be in a closed room ever. It's always in a closed room. And huh, I can leave a double. You know what? I'm going to go with double doors this time just to do different. So this and this and this is already not enough. But here's the thing. This uh, loam doesn't count as closing a room. I thought it was closing a room. And in another, uh, in my other playthrough, I had a problem with it not counting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this like this job and close it off like this and hope i have enough wood shake if i don't have enough wood shake what we're going to end up doing is go further oh and now this is not symmetric so too bad for the double door idea symmetry is more important to me how many of these i still have i think i haven't used enough but this is going to tell us really soon uh and i already have some doors and i'm just going to meet, make two pressure plate one and two because i like using those to get in and out so door, get rid of this, pressure plate, go in, and pressure plate to go out, close the door, I'm going to grab this and grab this because I'm going to put them against the wall where they're out of the way. And now let's see if we can put down these, um, these sieves, yeah, okay, so one sieve, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and we're going to fill those with the mesh which is really amazing because they're all going to act as one so like this and now i can sieve ash so it brings me to time for the first tip and trick do i have any more ash anywhere i'm just trying to see i'm sure i have more ash somewhere else let me just check i have some here and this is a tip and trick that i've not tried but this is going to be the first tip and trick from Rafi Rahib. I hope I pronounced this right. And I think that if what he said is right is you over over what you want to do and you press K. <gasps> wow. It auto makes block just by pressing K. Where were you man when I started this playthrough? This is an amazing tip and trick. So no more screwing around. Does it work with sand? <laughs> this is so beautiful does it work with mud balls also oh my god this is the most amazing tip and trick ever thank you very much Rafi Rahib this tip and trick is bonkers it's really going to make everything so much simpler so guys take this note down I'm going to be using K all the time now I don't know if it's only in this mod pack or if it's in a lot of other mod pack but this is one of those tricks that everyone needs to know so i'm going to finish this and i already have one of each so the sift break is completed now 
you have to be careful, okay? Because you don't want to miss this one, mass gathering. This one tells you about the 9x9. Nine nine. I have improved my efficiency in sieving. With this technique, I might be able to sieve a 5x5 five five grid of sieve. Let's start with a 3x3 three three for now and expand later. So the 3x3 three three is the minimum structure. We can make the 5x5, five five, but I was com comfortable with the 3x3. Three three. And by the way, another tip and trick from Rafi Rahib. Look at the top left. This is a sieve from Next ILO Creation, and it's harvested with an axe. I've known that for a long time, but it's one of those things that I always forget. I don't know why I always forget it. It's I shouldn't be forgetting that. Wayla is so super useful. It's something that everyone needs to know. So, guys, if you're like me and you had forgotten about it, well, thank you, Rafi Raib, for reminding us that this exists because that's definitely the way you want to go for knowing which tool to use. So, I have eight of each, which means this quest is another quest completed. So, now I can place it back down. And what I, I, I want to do is I want to break the floor right here and i want to put it one down because i don't like the fact that it's in the air i like being able to just look down at it and i think it's just going to be easier overall so i'm going to break all of this and i'm going to make this my new floor so like this voila and now before we put this the mesh back in let's look at the next level the next thing it tells us to do is to uh sieve some dust i got some white dust from sieving the black ash this is strange. I wonder if sieving it again gives me access to more useful resource. And that's supposed to give us crush quartz and searches quartz dust. So let's see. This is the dust pile. Let's use K on it. And I need 64. So that's not detected. So no, I don't want to use it right now. But there's another quest also right here for other resources. Better meshes might give me some resource. I would otherwise not be able to get. But other resources, I might get a, a lower chance instead. I have to do some tests which resource has which percentage chance to be gotten for each mesh. It wants us to make a flint stiffened mesh and then an iron stiffened mesh to get tiny pile of lapis dust and crushed black quartz. Well, you can always come in here and look at mesh and you can always right click. And when you right click and go to sieve here, you see that if I sieve ash, I get all of these and you see the drop chance of each. So dust pile. It says 100%, so you're always supposed to get one. The niter is 4%, sulfur is 2%. And if I right click on flint, and I go to the flint stiffened mesh, well, all the same resources as before with higher drop chance, but now I still have a, well, no, not higher. It's the same for these two, but now I can get tiny lapis dust, which is one of the extra resources that I want. And then if I go to iron stiffened mesh, well, there's also a crushed black quartz. So the faster I move on to these higher level of mesh, the better resource I'm going to get. And I'm still going to get the lower level resource. So it's not like one of these mod pack where you have to have certain using a fiber mesh and other using a flint. It seems to me like you always want to upgrade to the better. So for the flint stiffened mesh, you need flaked flint point. And the flaked flint point is something that I've always found annoying to do. But I found uh, in my other playthrough a my own tip and trick for that uh, on a way to get the flake tip point a bit easier. Well, not the point themselves. So see, I already have six here. So the way you get flaked flint point and the way we've been getting this historically is that we go here and we left click and then we get those flaked flint. And then we left click again to transform the flaked flint into flake flint flint point i just want to make sure that it's flake flint point yeah perfect so that's eight we can already make our first uh um what's it called Whew. flint stiffen mesh so that's it and if i look into it let's wait for it to detect i have one so this one i'm going to come back here and i'm going to put down in the middle in the middle for now and now the next one so the problem is the flint the first time I hit the flint here, there's a chance that I might get two, super low, and often I only get one, and sometimes you don't get any. So it's not a good deal to me. What I discovered is that this here, this granite rock that I don't really need, if I used one with the flint and I do this, this is the one that uses the resource, but it gives you one every time 
for sure. So 17, then I can click and these always give you one, if I remember. So these 17 are going to give me the twice eight that I need for more flint, uh, flint stiffened mesh. So let's just hit this and I'm going to need a lot more. Oh, it's not a one for one. So there is a chance that you don't get any. So now for the rest, the only way to deal with this is to actually make more flint. And we have this very easy method of making flint where you put 10 in here. And then where's my water bucket? I need a water bucket. I really need to do a cleanup and that's what I'm hoping to do uh, in my Twitch stream where anyone that wants to come in and chat, I'm going to be answering whatever question you guys want. I'm going to be talking with you guys. And I'm going to use that time to record a time lapse. Well, what's going on here? Let's just get rid of some of these mesh so I have space. Wow. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to be doing things that needs a lot of repetition because for now, it has become clear to me that we're going to get into a situation where we have a lot of sieving and a lot of repetition to do. Also, I want to clean up my base and finish organizing all the resource and I want to go crazy on auto crafting. Oh, is that going to work? I've never put the water before, so I don't know. Yeah, it did work. Let's just finish this. I'm going to make that last 10 and then we're going to move on. I don't know if it's going to give me enough flint anyway. So let's do all of these. And now I have more flint. I don't have any more granite on me. So let's just continue to give me perfect. Let's just continue. So now <clears throat> I have 16. That's two mesh. I want to do eight more. So that's 16, 32. Oh, that's 64. <laughs> that's actually a lot more than I thought. So I think I can. No, I can't get it. It's not enough. I'm going to need more flint or get luckier with my production. Uh, come on. I really want to make all of these mesh because I want to heighten my chance of getting my lapis lazuli for sure. Let's just... Come on. This is such a slow process. I was so proud when I found that you could use the granite or the rock to actually transform the flint. But uh, I wish there was the same tri trick for other things. So let's grab some more granite and let's transform the rest of these flint. Oh. The rest of these flint and now get rid of this and i just need to get to 64 and come on this is a bit long i think my dog just had a jump scare if you heard a weird noise and uh, that happens at least he didn't start barking the whole time so that's a, a plus so let's put that all in here and now we can put all of this around like this and that's going to be one and two and three and four and five. Uh, I was wondering where my other words, but I removed them to be able to have some space in my inventory. So this one, this one, and this one. And what we're going to do, I'm going to keep one on me and we're going to now make one iron stiffen mesh because the quest requires it to get the other type of resource. So let's keep this one. And now let's look at the nightmare of the iron flint stiffen mesh. So part of my time lapse is wanting to get that iron stiffen mesh because, oh my God, is it going to require a lot of iron? So first off, we have iron plate. So we're going to look at the mesh. The iron stiffen mesh is made from a flint stiffen mesh with iron mesh around eight. Iron mesh are made with a Gallagher, a stone Gallagher, and six iron strand. Iron strand you get by these weird iron ring or by using clippers on a plate, which gives you eight. So let's look at those iron clipper, which are two iron plate. So now I need one pin. So let's just cut one stick in two pins. And now let's go back here. So it's going to be one pin right here. Let's get rid of this. It's going to be two sticks like so. Let's get rid of this. And it's going to be two iron plate, which makes the iron clipper. And what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to transform all of those, uh, all of those plate into strand, because at the end of the day, I'm going to need so many of these. I'm going to need 546 of these. 
Then you put them like this, and I have too much, and now you use a stone Gallagher right here, and look at the sound of this. And you just click until you get the eight that you need, and I'm gonna just transfer all of this here for now because there's really no point making more than the eight because we can't get to 16 for now, so we'll do that later. But that gives us our first iron stiffened mesh, and now I want to grab some more ash block because now we're going to be, oh, not basalt, just ash, because now we need the 64 dust, so we're going to need not the basalt. I have to stop grabbing the wrong resource. Ash block, ash block, ash block. That's going to be enough for now, and I'm going to hope that I get all of the resource that I need. Just make sure that the quest detected it, and now we'll just save. Ah, oh, it doesn't detect it as part of the multi-structure. I'm really sad. So now I already have my lapis. So now all I need is my black quartz. So I'm just going to be using that one mesh and hope to get my black quartz soon. What's the drop rate on that? Let's just check quickly because it might be one of those things that I'm not getting tonight. 5%. So technically one in five. So I'm going to do this 32. This is so slow. Uh, and I can't transform any anymore. I don't have enough iron. I can't do more than one. And I didn't know that it wasn't going to work on all of them. I really thought that activating the sieve was activating the sieve regardless of the type of mesh. So I just have to continue doing this and hope to get my black quartz quickly. Because what's the next step? I just want to check what it's blocking me from doing. It's blocking me from getting to diamonds. Oh yeah, of course. Is that the iron stiffened mesh also has the tiny pile of... Uh, yes, but with the dust. So that's, that's not easy. So technically, I don't really want to be saving those resources on fiber mesh. That's, that's, why, that's why I wanted to get all of this done. Because I wanted to show you the problem that I'm getting. And explain why I need to get all of these mesh transformed into... Uh, flint stiffen mesh and if I look at the diamond stiffen mesh it's going to add the uh, no I already have that what else does it add tungsten dust that we're going to need for other stuff and it's a higher chance of diamond and finally emerald so you really oh finally I got my black crushed quartz so now it's really a question of getting my dust so let's use the K trick on the dust pile right here and here that's 28 and let's just continue, hopefully, if we get 64, that means 16. So I'm going to wait for this to get to till 64, and then I'm going to use K on it. And we're going to get another pile after that. And this, you see, with eight sieves doing the work for you, this is much easier to get. So K on that. We're at 44. So another pile is going to bring us to 60. Um, no, I don't want to. I want to see my dust. That's what I want to look at because I'm going to stop the moment I get my 64. Let's just 32. Let's bring me back to 64. And it's 8 per. You always get one. So that makes it faster. Unless you're receiving only one element because it takes what's in your end and it doesn't replace what's in your end for the rest. So usually you want to not forget and just uh, switch from one to the other. So that's 62. And that should be enough. Let's just find this and K and that's 64. So that's the next quest. So we've completed that, which means we've, we're ready to unlock diamond. We have the dust and now from the dust, we need the crushed quartz and the other. So let me switch to this and we're going to be doing the dust now. And that should be fairly simple to finish that quest. Also, although, as you can see, they have a low drop rate. So I've done 32 and for 32, I got four and two. But that quest is also finished, which means that we've now unlocked the diamonds almost. Oh, I found some diamonds. Didn't expect that at all. It's a low chance, but I bet they will be quite useful later. I only need a few dust more and then I can crystallize them. I also found prismarine. Not sure how useful though. So now it wants us to get some uh, diamonds. But the diamonds uh, here, look at the drop rate. Oh, it's 10%. Why do I keep on thinking that there's a big difference in the drop rate? And then you get Prismarine Shard and Crush Quartz. And then if I go to Diamond Stiffen Mesh and I try this again, it's still 10% only, but now I get Emerald and I get Pulverized Aluminum. Oh, 
coal. And that for the dust is the only resource that changes, I think. Because see here, I used to get crushed quartz, but with the diamond, I don't anymore. And with the flint stiffened mesh, I used to get certus quartz, and then I don't anymore. So that might actually be a problem where I might need to keep some specific resources going so that I can make sure to get them. So I really want to be using the flint won't ever give me diamond, I think. I just want to check one last time. No. So I really want to only be using these on the iron and I want to get to iron as fast as possible. I don't think, well, I don't think. Up to now, I haven't needed a lot of surgis quartz dust in this playthrough. It doesn't seem like it's a very important resource, quartz is. So I might at some point need a set of mesh with flint stiffened mesh to be able to still get that resource. But I'm real, the thing that we're really after is the diamond and the emerald. So getting a nine by a three by three of iron stiffened mesh is going to really heighten our chance. And don't don't forget that this is a two step. Oh, see, I have two tiny pile of diamond dust. This is a two step process. I need to first sieve the ash. And then once I've sieved the ash, I get dust that I can transform and then I can sieve the dust. So this is not going to be a quick process. That's why I want to get to it into it as soon as possible. The way this works is when you get the tiny pile of diamond dust, you combine them into a diamond dust and then you use the condenser to transform it into diamond. Same thing for the emerald and same thing for the quartz. So we're going to have to get into condensing really soon. It's not going to happen in this episode, but I wanted to show you kind of the direction of where we're going. Let me grab two chests and I'm put them outside right here and I want to use it for the drops for these the sieving. So let's just push all of that in here and I'll keep the ash on me because the ash is the thing that I'm doing that I'm trying to process. And let's go and get rid of the iron so that it can continue melting because like, you know, I need a lot of iron plate, which means that it's going to be critical that soon I restart my Oh, this is empty. So let's stop burning coal. It's going to be critical <laughs> that I get more steel because this, how much, how many strand is this going to make? Uh, I don't think that I'm able to transform all of them right now, but I think I need like 50 something plate. Let's keep those plate on me for now because I'm going to use them for some hoppers because I just want to get into one last thing before we end up tonight. The thing I like to get into is this automated sieving because when I'm doing my long time lapse, I want the whole time to be sieving. So to get to automated sieving, we need to first unlock collecting. So for collecting, I also have some idea how to get some basic automation. The wooden hopper is not good enough anymore. I have two upgraded design in mind. I bet both will be useful for different situations. The vacuum needs to be activated with a lever as I want to disable it if needed. So we want a hopper and a item vacuum. So let's go back here because I think I have some of the bad chest. And what I mean by bad chest is the one that I don't want to use anymore. Yeah, like so. So a hopper is five iron plate around a chest. And a vacuum hopper is the same thing, but with lead plate. So where are my lead plate? I probably dropped them in a derpy chest somewhere. Oh. It's not going to take long to find it. I was really scared that it was going to take me 20 chests to finally find it. So it's with five lead plate. I've made so many of those in my other playthrough that it, I don't have a problem remembering that recipe. Let's also make a lever because the quest did say that this only works with a lever. So I'm going to need this and a cobblestone. Nope. Don't throw the basalt on the floor. Put the basalt back where we found it. Do I have any cobblestone anywhere? Because I don't want to have to go harvest one. Let's do this. We're going to make our one lever and I'm going to show you how this works. Other way around. Perfect. So first of all, we're going to grab half of this chest. We're going to come in here and I'm going to place it down. And where's the center here? The center here is this. And what happens if I put a block like this? Yeah, uh, the problem is I won't be able to open this chest if I put it too high. 
I don't really have a choice. I'm going to break this and I'm going to put the wood shake one higher. And then I'm going to grab the chest and I'm going to put it here. And then I can put the item vacuum. No, not the hopper. I said the item vacuum. So I'm going to put the item vacuum right here. And then I'm going to put a lever on it. And now if I start sieving stuff, everything shouldn't come in my inventory. Is this on? Wait. So I'm grabbing some and some's getting in there or no? No, no, I don't know why this is. Oh, because it's too low. It's only grabbing the one in the middle. I'm sure that's what it is. It's one of those weird thing where it really needs to be like one or two or three higher even. So let's just do this. Take that one, put it there. Break this. Let's try that again. Let's put a lever and turn it on. And now let's try this again. Will you stop giving it to me? I don't know why it's not grabbing it. This is ridiculous. And now I can't access the chest anymore. <sighs> this is just weird. Let's, oh, this one it did grab. Yeah, this one it did grab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one high. Like this is this now still considered a closed room no it's no longer a closed room so that's what i hate about these kind of weird setup i'm gonna have to figure out something smarter but quickly i have a quick solution i'm gonna go and enclose this chest in something so i'm gonna go i want the chest to still open so i have to do it like this but that should work so let's just go try that quickly let's go here and let's just see if that works. Now it's an enclosed room. Perfect. So it's still giving me the items instead of going in the item vacuum. And I swear to God that the item vacuum works. But I think it's a mechanic that because I'm the one doing the manual sieving, it's giving the item directly to me. But once this is automated, we won't have this problem. So I'm just going to completely go with the automation as fast as possible so that we can move on. So we want water wheels, stone axle, auto sifter, and an item vacuum. So I'm going to make the stone axle first because the stone axle actually are required in the crafting of the water wheel. So the stone axle, first of all, you need to make these stone rod. So I'm going to need 16 stone rod. Uh, I need, no, I need nine. So 16, 17, 18. And then we need the cobblestone uh, gear so that I need nine Eight, nine perfect and now I can make these into nine axle like this I know this recipe by heart because it's so simple so we got our stone axle now we need our water wheel that I never remember so let's just search for it water wheel and we're going to make eight water wheel we don't just want to make uh, four like it suggests so let's make six and I'm missing sticks of all things so either I'm going to have to manually make um, some uh, sticks or I have enough in here. And see, that, that's what I was telling you about. So now I'm going to stop. What? No, I don't put a stone axle here. Uh, give me back my stone axle. Okay. I'm going to stop all of these so that they stop pumping. Oh, or did I start them? No. Stop. Perfect. Oh, anyway, there's no more. Derp. Okay, I didn't need to lose that time. So I think I have enough um, enough sticks. Let's see if I can get my last two and one and two. So that's eight. Perfect. So now it should have detected. I now need an auto sifter. So let's look at auto sifter. Auto sifter. And the auto sifter needs two hopper, two pistons. So oh, and four more stone gear. So I'm basically missing the another hopper no not that recipe i want the different recipe yet yeah, this one so that's one two three four perfect and now which chest i'm out of chest but okay i say i'm out of chest but these are the easy one to make and i still have some wooden trap door and i don't have enough wood unless i have any wood somewhere else uh wood 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 oh come on 
I need eight wood. So let's just put this in here and let's just get wooding a little bit. So put down. I want to make two chests to make two more pistons. I need two more of these planks. Let's do this job quickly. And that's 19. That's just enough to be able to complete this. So let's go right here and I'm going to make two chests. Perfect. Put back the wooden trapdoor there and make these two into... Uh, oh, I already had one. I forgot. Oh no, I want, I want to keep that hopper. So I'm going to use all of this and make these two. And now we should be able to make the auto sifter like so. Et voila. Okay. So this is what I wanted to get to right now because I can put this down and I can be ready for my other time lapse. So let's just grab this and move this off my hand because it's going to be annoying. Shift right click and shift right click because I'm going to move this sideways to make sure that this is not going to cause a problem. And now I need to go under this. So let's just quickly go under this like this. And ah, yes, I have a shovel. Whew. So this is really a weird setup. I, I, it took me forever derping around and searching on the web to figure out how to set the auto sifter. When you know it, it kind of makes sense. But when you're searching for it, it's so weird. So basically, you put the auto sifter in the end right here, like so. And you see, it connects to all of these now. And once it's connected, you want to use the water wheel. And this is one of these really weird thing. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter if the water wheel is blocked, it's going to work. So you put one here, one here, one here, and you just go down the road. And all you need is one side to be free. So let me just, can I still get out of here? Yes. So you just need one side to be free. We're going to close all of this off again afterward, but you need one side to be free like this. And then you need to go back. And from my understanding is eight is what's going to make this the most efficient possible. So now I can also put that basalt back here because I don't need this level and I only want to break this now. So let's go back here. We have how many left? Five. So that's one, two, three, four. Really? I'm just going, no, I can't break this by end. That would be dumb and take forever. So I'll be back in a jiffy. I just need to go get a cobblestone, uh, a cobblestone pickaxe quickly. So that's one, two, and one, two, three. Perfect. And let's go back. I was going to do this the derpiest way possible, and we're going to need water. So let's grab some water also while we're at it. Perfect. And I, like I said, my goal is to finish the setup and then be ready to go into my time lapse. So I'm going to want the water to flow on this level, I think. Yeah, on this level. So let's just do this. And now I need one two three four five did you hear that sound oh that was the sound of the gru that's the sound that you don't want it means i was in the dark and i was going to be fight in danger for my life so let's just go back in my chest because that i don't want to grab but it did grab and now let's put it right here perfect and let's put the water back there just trying to get exactly and this is starting to work and it's working let's go does it go to the end oh no it's not reaching till the end how is it not mechanic flow unless I'm not touching the gear this should be activating the sieve unless I screwed up something so this is not good, which means I think it needs to be one higher. So let's just quickly get back this water. And let's just break this. And don't stay there right for long. Ah, oh, they're not turning the same direction because I didn't put it. Ah, oh, okay. So I thought that I was smart and I wouldn't have to go in there. But I'm going to have to go in there. 
So let me put a torch because I don't want to die from the group. And now, oh, give me my water wheels. And now I need. <laughs> now I need my water wheels that got grabbed by this evil thing. That, oh, I should have just turned it off. That's what I should have done. Anyway, so now I should be able to do this. So, and can I do this? Uh, no. <laughs> Stay, stay working. I don't want to be in the dark. So I'm going to break all of those fours. I don't have a choice. And I'll put that back right here. And now I can put the water wheel. Perfect. And now I can put the basalt back. And I'm going to leave a torch there. And nope, I don't want the water there. I'm going to put a basalt. This is where I want the water. And now all of this should be going in the same direction. And it should get this sieve to work. Is it not connected? Hello? Oh, is it possible? Okay, so I have, I think I know why. It, everything's a question of direction. I think I placed this when I was facing the wrong direction. So if I go like this and I place this from this direction now, will this make it work? Yes! So directional thing in Minecraft, not always easy. So now we have an automated sieve. And that's why I wanted the hopper, because you want to put the hopper right here. And you want a chest. I'm going to grab that chest right here on top of the hopper. And now you can fill this with ash block. And do I have more ash block? Yes, ash block, ash, ash. This is all ash. Let me grab all of that. And now you come here and you fill this with ash like so. And this is filling and see now because I'm not the one doing it with my hand It doesn't have to go in my hand and it's being grabbed and that's why I didn't remember that it doesn't work because this is a hopper It's inserting one at a time not the nine at a time. So it is able to fill a different mesh. So technically If I wanted to keep getting quartz and quartz dust, I could keep one of those mesh a let me look at the mesh again if I have a fiber mesh for dust, with dust it gives me surtus quartz and crushed quartz. If I have a flint stiffen, it gives me both. So technically, I would want to keep one flint stiffen mesh to keep having chance of getting uh, surtus quartz dust. And iron, what does it give me? Iron takes away the surtus quartz and it has the cert. Oh, perfect. So this is the part. I can keep only one uh, or two fiber mesh, uh, flint stiffened mesh. And having the flint stiffened mesh is going to let me get the surface quartz and the crushed quartz that I want. And the rest can be the diamond mesh, which are way more important because they give me pulverized obsidian and tungsten and crushed black quartz and diamond and emerald and aluminum. So it gives me all of that. And this is grabbing everything and bringing it in my chest right here which is amazing because that's what I needed. Let me grab resources that are things I want to keep on my end. And now look at the dust, 64, 64, 26. This is now started and this is now pumping resource. And when I go in my big time lapse with you guys, I can leave this working and always refill it with ash. And I'm now producing resources 24 seven. So I said this was the last thing I lied. One last thing, I want to make the structured crafter and the crafter. And the reason I want to do this in this episode again is that in my big time lapse, those are things I want to be able to set up. And in my big time lapse, I don't want to do any things that you guys can't see. So let's, well, that I, that I won't be saying out loud in the episode. So let's grab all of these and let's put this like that. That's one. And... Auto crafter, so crafter, structured crafter. So the structured crafter is crafted with a crafting station and a wood gear. So let me make a wood gear. Do I have enough stick? Yes. So wood gear and crafting station gives us a structured crafter, which I don't really want to use. I might end up using them. Oh, I never read the text. Sorry, guys. Now that I have discovered a better crafting table, a further simple upgrade might allow me to auto craft. This is very limited though still. I need to put the crafting component in inventory based on their pattern on one side and for the output I need another inventory on the other side. 
then I can start the process with an active lever. I can also use the blocks themselves instead of inventory, but of course, this in world crafting would then only work with blocks and not with items. Then there is also an upgraded version which crafts slower but doesn't need in world crafting. The auto workbench. So let's look at auto workbench. The auto workbench is the same thing but with a stone gear. So we're going to upgrade the structured crafter. Or you know what, I'm just going to make a second one. I want to keep one of each. So let's do this and stick which gives me this and then one, two, three, four which gives me the gear to go with the crafting station. Perfect. And then, oh, the cobblestone's on me already. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. So that's a stone gear. Stone geared with a structured crafter gives me the auto workbench. And here's why the auto workbench is slower but better is that I can now put the dust pile pattern in here. And what I can do is from this auto crafting, I'm doing a lot of ash. So whatever, when it extracts the resource, I can extract the dust pile and make them here. It's really slow, but this is working by itself. So the fact that I don't have to come here and grab these and press, put them in my inventory. And then once they're in my inventory, press K like this, and then reinsert them here. The fact that I don't have to do this is a win because it means I can be doing other things somewhere else. So that's really something that I want to set up, even though it's slow, because again, I'm repeating myself, but this is important. I need resources to be creating themselves all the time so that I don't have to work on them because I need them in the long run. Oh, it didn't detect. So let's just grab all of this. I always forget. Oh, and see, this one uses a pickaxe, Wayla told me. So let me grab this. Perfect. Now it's detected, so I can put it back down. And the problem is that you have to reset the recipe every time. Um, but you know what? That's that's not a big problem itself. So the next thing I'd like to do is the storage. But I'm going to do that in another episode as I don't foresee using any of those. And if I really end up needing some of those, I'll craft those and I'll explain them later. But there's nothing else I want to do today. Next episode is going to be my big time lapse that I'm going to try on Twitch. I'm going to let you know in advance when. And then next episode after that is going to be to get into condensation because by then we should have everything for our one emerald and everything for our one diamond and move everything forward. And then we're going to progress. Now that we're going to have resource down pat, we're going to be able to progress a lot more on everything else. Also in my time lapse, I'm probably going to reset this because not having any iron is going to be a bummer. I really need the iron and I wish I didn't make these solid sur Rock, I, oh, they are the right one. Derp. I was wondering why, I thought I had made some, but I placed them in the wrong side. So at least I'm going to start getting iron again. But, uh, so that's what I want to do. Like, I really want to start automating things and really harvest a lot of hash and make my base better. And just generally have time where I'm trying this, that since I'm doing a time lapse and it really doesn't matter, uh, what I'm seeing during the time lapse because I replace it all with music, then I can do it over Twitch with you guys and use it as a time lapse later. I think it's a really cool idea that I've been wanting to try for a while now, and I'm probably going to have to some have some time by myself in the house this weekend, which is going to permit me to do that. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'm really happy with our progress. This mod pack is super fun. And I've been moving forward with the other one. We haven't even started traveling to other world. And it's going to get really nice. So let's just end here on my sieving. Because that's the big accomplishment for this episode. And guys, I'm going to see you in my time lapse pretty soon. I hope some of you will join me so that I'm not talking by myself. This is going to be my first experience though, so don't be too rough. So that's it. Guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.